been a while. I'm really sorry. I've just... <laughs> I've been so bad with uploading to YouTube. I'm so sorry. So bad. But today I'm coming to you with, I think, one of you guys' favourite kind of videos because that's why you came to my channel. I know. Don't worry. Doing a hair transformation. So, I'm changing my hair kind of drastically, but it's just going to be the same, but in different bits of my hair. Does that make sense? I've got a beret on today because I'm hiding the fact that my hair looked really bad up here. But I've got a fringe. If you go back to my previous video, you'll see what I did to my hair before. It's still like that. Um, and I want to change it, but I want to change it so that all this is my natural colour, or as close as I can get it to. And then where my fringe is bleached, it's growing out a bit, so I kind of want to make it a bit more, this whole front part of my hair is bleached. So I'm going to get a big chunk where my fringe is, re-dye my fringe because my roots are coming in, and then make a big bleached bit here. But the rest of my hair will be this colour, my natural colour. But then I was thinking, it's not really enough bleach on my head for my needs. So I'm thinking having a section underneath my hair to be bleached completely, like to the roots to the ends. So when I put my hair up, you can see like a big bleach bit. And then when I'm feeling like putting colour in my hair, I can put that colour under there and then I can hide it if I want to. So I'm going to do that. First, I need to go and buy the stuff I need. That was so long-winded, I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you're confused, once I start dyeing my hair, hopefully it'll be a bit more clear. But yeah, let's go and buy some dye. I got the goods. Got the goods. Also, while I was parking, I knocked my hubcap off because I'm so shit at driving. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> So basically, I parked, but I parked too co close to the curb, and ended up popping this off. <laughs> I literally like parked, got out of the car, just thought it was fine, and then looked, and I was like, oh fuck! I just saw this on the floor. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna pick it up, throw it in the car, and then walk to the shop, pretending like it didn't happen. So I'm gonna pop that back on, <laughs> and then get inside and dye my hair. Also, I was too nervous to really vlog in Superdrug because there was a woman on the same aisle as me and she was scared. It was obviously hanging off, wasn't it? For it to come off like that. So, just... that stays on Let me go through what I've got. For the last few videos where I've included bleach, I've been using the Jerome Russell bleach. And I did have one powder left, but I'm thinking I'm going to need more than just one. So basically, you buy the box full of sachets of the powder, 
And then to go with the powder, you buy these little bottles of the cream peroxide. So you take one sachet with one bottle, mix it together, and you get a bottle of bleach. But I'm thinking I'm going to need two. So I bought another box of this, which I think has one, two, three, four. It used to have five in it. This has only got four in it. Is someone taking out? Taking this out? No, it says four. I swear it had five in it before. No, nope, I just imagined it. So it has four sachets of um, powder in it, so you can use it for four goes. But obviously, you have to buy the bottle to go with it. So again, I bought a box of these, and then two bottles of these because I'm going to make up two batches of bleach. Hopefully, that'll be enough. I'm sure it will be. Um, and then, what I didn't say in the shop because I was embarrassed <laughs> was that I didn't end up buying two of these, which is the one that I showed in the shop, which is the Natural Lightest Golden Brown. Because, if I remember rightly, when I dyed my hair with it last time, it was a bit dark. Like, it was just a tad too dark. So I thought, why not buy the next one, which is the lightest one? No. Why not buy the next lightest one to this, which is natural medium blonde? Is that the next lightest? Have I been an idiot here? I don't know, but I bought this as well. They're, they're not that dissimilar. This one's just got a bit of an orangier tone, and it's a bit darker, obviously. But I'm thinking either I mix them together and then dye my hair just these bits or I dye these bits this colour these bits this colour the darker one and then see what colour that comes out with and then dye all of my hair with this colour someone's scratching at my door excuse me my cat anyway yeah and dye all of the my hair with this one just in case this doesn't come out the same colour as this and then if I dye it all with this then it will all be the same colour do you know what I mean? so I'm debating whether to do that or just mix them together and dye this bit or mix them together and dye the whole thing I don't know I don't know I don't know what to do. Let me think about that for a minute. Anyway, I also got these two things, which are one of my favourite things that Superdrug do, which are the Colour Effects Toner. It's called Conditioning Colour, but it's like a toner. In Honey Blonde. So these are like bright yellow. If you have a look, they're literally just bright yellow toner. It's going to drip. Please don't please no um yeah so i bought these because my ends are quite neutral or whatever the terminology is so they need to have color on them for them to then pick up this color and stay that color so i need to really 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 tone them and make them as yellow or as like warm as i can and then hopefully they won't go green one and two, the colour will actually stick to them. Because last time I did it, last time I dyed my hair back to my natural colour, I had to dye the bleach bits red, and that left my hair having a tinge of red, and I didn't like it. So I'm going to try and do it on yellow this time, which hopefully will be come out as a better result for the colour. So yeah. I also have like some medium brown ones of these, so I might mix a tiny bit in with that, just to make it a tiny bit more warm. I really hope these explanations like actually mean anything to you because ugh, I just can't talk like a normal person. But yeah. Oh god, I love tea. I'm so British. Okay. Um. So first step is toning the bottoms of my hair. Can I just say if you have if you have like your hair natural so it's either brown or blonde or black or whatever and you want it to have like little highlights in it go and buy these 
where if you have like if you have brown hair and you want it to be a bit red you can buy the rich red it works on natural hair so when my natural hair is feeling a little bit dull or like just not very vibrant and nice i use this yellow one and it brings out the gold tones in my hair and it's so nice so highly recommend and they're like one pound something and they've got an offer on at the moment which is buy one get one half price so just say i think i say that in every hair dye video i do but I need to go and tone my hair, and then yeah, probably won't film that because it's just boring. It's literally just going to be me shampooing my hair. So all I'm going to do is put this on. Maybe a little dash of a dark brown version of this, which is like warm brown, I think. I might put a tiny bit in, but that's all I'm going to do. And then I'll come back to you. It's just, this is my hair, this is my hair at the moment. Oh, that beret's made me itch. <sighs> So my fringe is growing out, and obviously this bit's bleached, but my roots are coming in, so I need to re-bleach those roots. So I've toned the bottom of my hair, and I think this is going to be warm enough for it not to go green, hopefully. <laughs> so I've just sectioned a bit of my hair, that the bit of my hair that I'm going to bleach. Um, I haven't been completely precise, so I'm going to do that again in a second. Um, I didn't really want to tone the ends of that because obviously I want it to stay bleach, I don't want it to be yellow, but if it is a bit yellow it's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, I also need to section my hair so that I have the section underneath free for me to bleach it. I did tone that bit because <laughs> I just couldn't be asked to section it and then whatever, it's fine. Um, so I took a poll on Instagram and I asked my boyfriend and he said the same. And most of you said the same on Instagram, which was, I should use the lighter colour I got, which is, I'm using it as a tripod at the moment, it is the natural medium blonde, because that looks the most, like, it looks the most like this colour. And then maybe put a little bit of the dark in, just to make sure that it's going to be a rich enough colour to stick to my hair. Also... Everyone's saying that I should dye all of the hair so that it's definitely going to be the same colour because what I'm worried about is if I just bleep, ugh, if I just dye this bit it's not going to be the same colour as my natural colour so if I dye all of it hopefully it will just come out the same colour so that's what I'm going to do <laughs> but first I need to obviously part my hair properly here and then properly underneath I'm going to dye it the darker colour first, just so that when I bleach it, there's no chance of me then getting the dye on the bleach bit and then messing it up. So yeah, I'm going to do the bleach bit last. Um, so yeah, let me section my hair and then we'll start dyeing it, I guess. Right, so I sectioned my hair, which was a lot different, a lot more difficult than I thought. Um, <laughs> so if you can see show you section the back so this is the bit that we bleached and then this section here is the bit I'm dying back to normal colour this section here is also going to be bleached so I'm going to tell you now if you're new to this channel you've not seen me dye my hair before it's very unlikely that I'm going to wear gloves throughout any of this process <laughs> because I just don't think I can do it as well if I have gloves on and you know what it'll dye my skin for like a day not even a day I'm gonna be washing out my hair like five times so it's gonna come off my hands it'll be fine I do have work at four o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning so hopefully I have washed it off by then Ooh. <laughs> in there I've got loads of hair bands just for when I'm sectioning my hair off let's give this a shake right I'm going to pour this in now I'm giving it a shake so I'm going to mix in a tiny bit of the natural lightest golden brown so I'm going to put a little bit of this in it and then I'm going to put a little bit of the, this is called developer, but not much of it. Hopefully equal parts in there, but only a tiny bit. 
Okay. Is that enough? Put a little bit more in. I'm a bit scared. Okay, I feel like that's enough. Okay, I've semi sectioned it. I'm gonna start going now. <laughs> I'm scared. I really hope I've got enough dye to do the whole thing. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, it's on, but we'll see. <laughs> I think it's come out a good colour. I'm going to check it now, but yeah, it's been about half an hour. Let's see what it looks like. Right, let's check that it's actually done something and it's the right colour. Ooh. It looks good to me. It still looks slightly lighter than the rest of it, but I'm going to wash it out and have a look. Okay, it didn't come out too bad. It does look a little bit ashier, like an ashy blonde, where obviously the bleach was. So I'm thinking with the leftover dye that I've got, I should add in some of the darker one and just go over the ends with it just so it matches the top a bit better because I think it just needs some warmth because the colour is almost right it just needs to be a bit more warm so yeah I think the dye actually dyed my the top of my hair a little bit darker than it normally is which doesn't really make sense because the dye was basically the same colour as my hair I don't know maybe it's just because it's wet but yeah I'm gonna put some of the darker warmer because it's like a gold warm gold brown thing it's called i'm just going to put that on the ends just to make it a bit more warm because it's a bit of an ashy blonde at the moment but yeah i think it's not too bad as i said i've got a little bit left of the mixture i used first so i'm just going to mix in some of the um other one that i had the dark golden brown and then some of the developer obviously and make it a little bit darker, a little bit warmer. Maybe put a bit of this in, or maybe the the warm brown that I've got of this in there. I don't know. Maybe I should just tone it after I've dyed it. Yeah, because I think the last time I put toner in dye, it just didn't work. Because <laughs> obviously the dye just dies. Anyway, I'll tone it afterwards. But yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of the dark brown in there and just put it on the ends just to warm them up a bit because they're a bit ashy. But yeah. Right, I've just washed that off and it is slightly better, <laughs> I think. But I might just use this warm chocolate brown toner just to put a bit more warmth into it because it is a tiny little bit ashy. So I toned it a little bit and it's still a little bit, no, it's all right. But that dye is definitely dyed all my hair brown. Like, my hair wasn't brown brown. It was like light, 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 light brown with golden bits in it. But it's definitely brown now, <laughs> which is fine. It's fine. Um, what I'm going to do now is condition this it's just so that I can get like all the colour out of it. Even if there's like a little bit of colour left in it, it's out. Because when I bleach my hair and then I wash the bleach out, I don't want any of this to like bleed into it or anything. So I'm going to use the conditioners that come in that... The hair dye condition it should i dry it no there's no point in me drying it condition it tie it out of the way and then i'll start bleaching so i did that washed that out and then i've just put some of my normal conditioner in left it in put it in buns and now i'm gonna bleach this bit and the back bit i'm probably gonna need to get my mum's help in involved in this because i can't really see where the root is <laughs> So she's going to have to like paint that in for me. But yeah, what are mum's for? She used to help me. When I used to have half and half hair, she used to get a toothbrush and do the part for me. So yeah, 
Um, I'm going to mix up the dye. I'm just going to mix up um, one of the sachets and one of the bottles. If that's not enough, then I'll do another one, but I don't want to waste it if, it's, if this is going to be enough anyway. So yeah, I'm going to mix this up and then I'll get mum involved and we'll start doing the bleach. Right, so my mum has just helped me do the back bit. So now I'm going to do this bit. So it's been on for like a good 40 minutes. I might have to do it again. I don't know. I'm going to go and wash it off now and see how bleached it is. That's the back. But yeah. I'll probably see you when it's like all done. I'm going to wash it off. I might bleach it again. If I do, I'll tell you. But yeah. I'm going to wash it off and then maybe style my hair. Maybe put more makeup on. And then I'll come back to you. Bye. Hello. So it's a few hours later. I've washed my hair, dried it, and it needs bleaching again. Do you see this big yellow band? And this bit's just so yellow. So oh, I'm gonna bleach it again. The brown looks alright. It is a little bit ashy at the bottom, so I'm gonna put a toner in, but I'm gonna leave it on for like a long time. I've got like a warm brown toner and a rich red brown toner. So I'm going to put them on but yeah I'm definitely going to bleach my hair again not this front bit because this is quite light but just this band here and then all of this for some reason the underneath of my hair just takes longer to bleach I don't know why so yeah I'm going to bleach it again it was so difficult to part it I don't know how I'm going to redo it <laughs> when it needs to be when the roots need to be on I have no idea how I'm going to do that but yeah I'm going to do that now So, here is my hair. <laughs> I've gone through a lot of toning and yeah, so basically the front bit just wouldn't, I think you can still kind of see it, but this bit just would not lighten to as light as this front bit, which was really annoying. And the ends of my hair were just a bit green, they were just a bit green. And it was gross so I've been toning this with purple shampoo I've been toning this with the dark golden hmm, dark warm brown toner from Superdrug and it's been working pretty well I think it looks not green anymore <laughs> you tell me anyway yeah this this look was very hard to pull off this underneath bit I've also toned quite a lot with purple shampoo but yeah, having to section my hair off. Yeah, I'm literally doing the opposite for each section. So it is hard and you don't want to mix each section, obviously. So I've got to section my hair every time I tone it, which is annoying. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the um, results. I kind of want to dye all the brown bits, like a slightly darker brown, just so that the contrast is a bit bigger. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to leave it for a bit because I'm just fed up of dyeing my hair. But yeah, that's the end of my dyeing my hair saga. But yeah, this is the result and this is the end. <sighs> this one was a bit of a headache, I've got to admit. But I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see this face and hit the subscribe button. And let me know what videos you want me to do because I'm genuinely really missing youtube and i want to get back into it but i'd love to know which kind of videos you want to watch because then i'll make them but yeah i'll see you next time bye